The following video excerpt is taken from a recent edition of Financial Management Network, a production of Smart Pros. Returning to our program is Peter Navarro, the author of the recently published book, The Coming China Wars, and a business professor at the University of California at Irvine. In your book, you view Chinese goods as a weapon of mass production. Yes, it's a catchy phrase, but to some extent, are you overstating the situation? Well, there's no question that the influx of cheap Chinese goods has given consumers a real boon. Uh, but there's some hidden costs that Americans need to be mindful of. Uh, for example, when you go into a Walmart and you come out with your big basket, you look up and the air's brown, guess what? Some of that is from the, what they call the Asian brown cloud. It's pollution rides over on the jet stream. Uh, your gas tank, when you go to fill up your gas tank, your gasoline might be more expensive because of the uh, uh, entrance of China onto the World Petroleum stage. Uh, and there's, there's some bigger costs at work here over time uh, in terms of conflicts that we are going to have with China over resources, raw materials, uh, and markets. But my research clearly shows that about half of the China price advantage here in the U.S. is driven by unfair trade practices. It's pure mercantilism. You got the undervalued currency, which has been a topic of much discussion, but you also have rampant piracy and counterfeiting. That lowers costs because companies don't have to spend in R&D, they don't have to spend in marketing to, to, to push their brand. Uh, so there's, there's those two things. Export subsidies are a third huge violations of the World Trade Organization, just flagrant. Five years after its entry into WTO, China has yet to comply. And lastly, China has uh, lax environmental and worker health, or health and safety standards that don't meet international standards. That provides an edge. So companies here in the U.S. and financial executives who are looking at, at the welfare and fate of those kind of companies have to deal with the issue of China's unfair trade practices. Now, having said that, there's also companies that have gotten out in front of the wave and they want to go out and uh, out, outsource some of their production or offshore all of it to China. To those executives, I say that can be a dangerous strategy. I ask the question, have you examined the full risks as well as the rewards of that strategy? And I would say that many of them have it.